Hello and welcome to a new episode. Uh, so it's been about uh, three weeks uh, since my uh, previous video, uh, where I was showing uh, something about base to type with uh, basic uh, handling of labels and uh, working on improving the if then else expressions. So I had my holidays, so I've been working a bit uh, on the on the project when I had some time. So I'm going to show you uh, what the current changes are. So, uh, first I had some questions. So on the uh, different source forums, there was some discussion about uh, Bomber Z, which is in the OSDK as a game sample, which was unfortunately not uh, compiling correctly with any of the tools in the OSDK. As it happens, uh, this had been modified to have some earlier system of label uh, made by Vascol called Labels to Num, which unfortunately uh, was written in Delphi and uh, Vascol stopped uh, supporting the tool. And well, the rest of the OSDK is either C or C++, which is available on pretty much any system you can have uh, around. Uh, Delphi is much more complicated, so it was not maintained. So somebody suggested we should use virtual basic, which is not visual basic. Uh, it's something which is which was made by people doing some uh, Apple II basic uh, software. And it was signaled both on the Defense Force Forum and the Auric uh, Software Forums. I took a bit uh, look at it. Uh, syntax seemed very weird. Uh, I mean, the whole point of uh, using some uh, uh, advanced basic system is to make it easier to use basic, not to learn a completely new different syntax. So uh, you don't really like it. So my suggestion was to extend the uh, to tape to uh, support what uh, labels to num was doing, which is what I've been doing uh, during this uh, summer break. The code is probably not the most pretty code I've ever wrote, but seems to be working and we can, can still uh, refactor later, uh, especially if people give feedback about things they like or don't like. Uh, and of course, I'm going to release a new uh, OSDK uh, version with all these fix, plus some other things that uh, Fabrice Frances and Jerome uh, said about bugs in the compiler, and uh, some problem found with uh, STR talk, uh, no, SCANF uh, function in the library, which was not working correctly, uh, found by Fra. On other news, uh, still basic news, uh, somebody ported the Oregon Trail to the Auric, so you can find a link it on GitHub, me high dragon Oregon Auric. And uh, Trail, which posted uh, earlier this morning uh, on the Defense Force Forum, that he was inspired by what I did with uh, this basic uh, video, and he made another small game uh, with pictures. I have not checked yet, it. Uh, I'm going to do that when I'm done recording the video. So I hope it's good. So, let's start by the graphics, so I have something visual to show you. So, part 15 last time, part 16 now, as you can see, there have been some changes on the basic files, and also a significant number of pictures have been changed. So, I'm not going to diff that one. Uh, well, can show you, uh, because the problem is uh, I reorder, reorder, reposition elements, so uh, yeah, the poor uh, diffing stuff is kind of confused. So, the pictures. I've been completing this part here, as you can see, uh, with trees, uh, to clearly indicate that uh, you can't pass on the left. So I had a problem here and here. It looks very empty and I was not quite sure how to do it. So the picture is still not finished. We need to display the trees and thing. But basically, I decided that this area is a church with a graveyard. Uh, so I still need to complete a bit here. But yeah, uh, that, that's the back of the church. And here you have the small wall of a, a house, which you will see later. Uh, yeah, so here I added the grass. I obviously need to add the tombstones because it's also the corner of the graveyard. That one was very empty. So now we have a small house which continues the uh, dark alley uh, with a small wall. And maybe I should zoom out a bit or 
be hmm. and yeah some uh, barbed wire to indicate that you can't go on the on the side here I also did some trunk because here this part was kind of empty Th this whole room need to be improved it's too empty but uh, now we have some background here and we can see the small uh, laser sofa in the boudoir up there um, yeah so that's the same room so you can see the this is the trunk it almost looks like the Cheshire cat uh, on the same with the dead dog uh, so uh, the only change here is that okay I added a bit of dithering and I added sorry, I really need to zoom out uh, I added walls here and there to indicate that we can't move uh, on the other direction prime of 150% is that the dithering get all broken uh, so the sweeping staircase, uh, same thing. Uh, added some uh, wood panels. Originally, I wanted to have something like a coat of arms, or maybe some swords, something like that. But yeah, that will do, I guess. Uh, and I guess uh, main landing, so we can see the end of the. So I added black uh, plint uh, on the black carpet because now it's connecting the east and west gallery and i repositioned a bit things because it was not actually perfectly centered on the window and if you can see in your eye my eye it's a window that give over the tile patio on the sun lounge just uh, just under so the first thing you see when you start the game is the market square so decided to give it a bit of a revamp so this was looking a bit weird so now we see the tunnel on why we can't pass on the right because now there is a wall and we can see the trees behind here yeah, I added a bit of a trash can probably of the butcher and some uh, place for the cars added a bit of a dithering here and uh, pimped a bit uh, curtains in the pub bed and breakfast Thing looks better yeah on the some uh, small decoration on the windows i guess you uh, can guess it's uh, a big ham on the, that's a rack of uh, whatever uh, animal beef lamb probably lamb then the box room that one i kind of liked it but it was missing something uh, mostly contrast because most of the area are white or gray but there were almost no black and found out that black is very important so I added some uh, handle here, so you know that it's actually storage boxes under the, the bed. Uh, a calendar, uh, September 1982, uh, which is a one uh, release date, so probably the first actually. Uh, some black board, whatever, with a small uh, shark when I've fallen down. And it's an actually a sliding down, Sli sliding door, sorry. So now the only change, oh funny, a blue pixel. The only change is that now the master bedroom has some uh, storage area. The tiny toilet is a bit more contrasted. Uh, just added some uh, shadowing, thing like that. Fixed uh, some uh, lines, uh, removed the. That was supposed to be a shelf for books, but didn't look uh, very good, so it's gone. So the main street, which is still not finished, but the, we have the other part uh, of the church. So obviously we will need to see the trees and things. I'm really trying to get the entire perspective from anywhere. You should be able to see where you want to go next. Another example of uh, contrast uh, fixing, uh, just adding these things are black now on the same thing with a uh, mat on the floor, which I guess makes it a bit more uh, yeah, nicer. And I, I recentered the handle, which was too much on the other side. So the dark alley now with windows and uh, water, uh, water drain pipe, I guess, and uh, uh, 
uh, fire escape uh, ladder. I fix that so it's a bit more broken, uh, like somebody tried to force inside the basement. And we can see a bit of the house uh, and even two pixels wide of the church. And a bit of a dot yonder. Here yeah, you have the water going down and then the drain. Yeah, so the entrance all without anything. So the kitchen was lame. It's still lame, but less lame, I guess. So you can see the brick wall at the back of the property. Now we have tiles, black plinth, and a black table. That's all. I think it looks less bad. Main landing, master bedroom. So yeah, same thing, but with a dead man. Uh, West Gallery. So there is really something missing here. Uh, Look, it did not make much sense. So now we have the, this big black carpet which connects to the main landing. Some small uh, lights. Uh, and I, I changed the appearance of the padlocked door. I did not really like it. So now it looks like that. A strong door with rivets. Because that one looks like it's a standard uh, decorative uh, wooden frame door. So now it's a real door uh, with uh, double steel plated beams connected with something onto uh, two padlocks. Uh, that should indicate to the player that no, you can't just uh, force it uh, like Matt Giver with a paper clip. Uh, narrow passage, just a bit of. Uh, uh, indicating the light coming from the library, just to make it more obvious that there is a passage, but that's it. Uh, the East Gallery, the only change is that a bit of a white dot here to make it a bit of a relief and connect to the left side. And the guest bedroom. So same thing, I did some uh, black uh, thing to make it pop a bit more, some stuff on the bed to indicate that maybe somewhere somebody was there or maybe it's just uh, some uh, new pillow case uh, things to use. So that's it for the picture. I can just uh, show the big map which is probably going to appear on the wrong screen because reason. Uh, so this is how it all connects. Blop, blop. Yeah, that one still not change. We're going to be on the list of things really I need to do. I'm considering adding a picture here where you see the pit before you fall in. So if you want to fall in the pit, you will have to do explicitly instead of just typing east on, oh, you're stuck. I also need to do something about the shading here. It's not very pretty. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's uh, taking shape. It's not, uh, not too bad anymore. Still could be better. So the source code, that's where the big change happened. So here it's a very minor change. Uh, basically now that I patched, actually that was two episodes ago, uh, I patched uh, Cedric 3 to not have the banking problem anymore that asks you to uh, insert a floppy. I was able to remove this thing. And now, as early as the boot second starts, I remove the blinking logo, the blinking cursor, and I remove the caps message. Then I lose the font, and this is one of the change of the new bass to tape. Uh, many of the basic programs are cursed with the CHR $27, which is the escape code, followed by uppercase letter, which is used to make uh, things blinking, double size, uh, change the color, or nothing. So you end up with things like print at something something, CHR$27, semicolon, code N. On here that was a bit optimized with an uh, intermediate variable. So the new base to type, you can use a tilde character to implicitly, it's n um, tilde is not a character that exists in the uh, or read basic as a displayable character. It's uh, ASCII code, I uh, think 126. Sorry, it's warm here. Um, so it's not displayable, so it's not going to conflict with anything. So if you do tilde n, it implicitly asks, it explicitly writes 
the escape character followed by n. So just make it a bit cleaner. One of the things I did as well is to fix these uh, flickering uh, flashes uh, of uh, white when switching from iris to text on text to iris, which are caused by the way the Auric basic instruction works. Uh, so I removed iris and I emulated uh, the iris myself by doing that. First, move the font from B400 to BB80. No, from B400 to 9800 and copy um, that end address. Start address, end address, target. Then switch temporarily, make the basic believe you are in high res. So you can use uh, these instructions to write 200 lines of black ink and then go back to text. Poke the high res switch attribute and then load the picture. So by doing that, you don't have the problem of the basic uh, drawing a lot of small arrow-based characters, which are actually the op ASCII code 64. Uh, and 64 is a default pattern of high res. So the way the basic does that, probably because they were constrained in terms of uh, uh, memory in ROM, memory usage, uh, they did it in a way that you can't see the transition. So this is much cleaner. Uh, it's not as elegant in terms of code, but it works. Uh, a side effect of not calling high res anymore is that the blinking cursor does not reappear. It's gone, it's gone. So I had to remove all these prints, CHR dollar dollars $17. Uh, another consequence is I'm now in text text. I'm not in high res, uh, which means I can't just use print to print in the three last lines of text. I need to actually use print at to display my copyright event software. Um, and same thing, uh, when we want to go back to text, I need to erase the picture, so I'm doing the same thing as there. Uh, and then I force the paper to zero, ink to zero, clear the screen, and remove, uh, replace the iris attribute by a back to text. And we wait a bit just to make sure that this uh, attribute has been uh, acted. So technically, we just need to, to wait one fiftieth of a second. And then we do the opposite move to move back the font to the text area. Uh, here, removal of the blinking uh, character and blinking cursor, sorry, on that all. And the big change is that one. So, uh, as I said, I worked on the base to tie up, and the big change here is that uh, we don't have any line number anymore, and uh, all the num yeah, there are labels, and uh, I've been a bunch of uh, using a bunch of things. And while I was at it, I even added the concept of uh, defines, like in C, because one of the problem of the old code is that uh, let's see. You get all these things, LD equal 19, 20, 26, 34, A equal 1, A equal 2, equal 3. And then the rest of the code does, uh, let me see, if A dollar equal STA on A equal 11, 11 is the location uh, where the, the car is. So basically, it's a player want to start the car. But when you are just looking at the code, like I just did, uh, that could have been stab. And then, oh, 11, is it the room with the thug? And it's asking me how to kill it. No, that was actually the car. So by using these new instructions, so labels with a sharp symbol first means now the system will low labels. I did that for compatibility purpose. If you compile one of the old basic program, it will work exactly as is. This is used to remove all commands, white space. Just by using that, I managed to reduce the code by about three kilobytes, just removing all the useless spaces like, uh, yeah, the space between go to and the number. Or, here it's compact, but 
many places it's uh, if like here if space gl less than zero well what this uh, optimized function does it's to remove all these spaces then i define some define for the buckets to replace uh, the fact that the game was putting one two three five six uh, everywhere to indicate in which container things were I gave some actual names to the various places, so location, marketplace, dark tunnel, main street, things like that. My ending conditions, instead of being one, two, three, four, five things, the one I used to display in the high scores now are actually name, error condition, serve the case, main by a dog, shot by a dog. And then I have the label themselves. Uh, by default, it starts at line 10 with increment by 10, which is uh, standard used by many rig games but you can say i want to start at line zero on increment by one and it will continue like that until you change it uh, and then i did a lot of cleaning uh, which actually i should redo i got rid of bfxf uh, no uh, yeah uh, bfxf and F pftf which were variables saying that the container was full meaning already used by something uh, now I replace that by uh, an array of function and I'm using directly the index. Uh, so that made a lot of code much more compact. Uh, so it also allows us to do things like that. So I move the initialization sequence at the end on the thing I showed earlier. So now the error condition is not EC equals seven, it's simply vanished. And instead of uh, 11, 12, 13, we can say that uh, that one is in the road, that one is located on the well, so the bucket, the rope, on the water, on the, uh, on the well. And all these ones are 99, they are nowhere. And then we go to the marketplace. So all these errors, instead of being 10, 11, 12, now I can't do that, hey, come again, try again, that makes the error code a lot easier. And all this change also allowed me to now I'm not constrained by the line numbers, which means that moving something uh, at the start, at the bottom, in the middle, deleting things, uh, inserting lines become a non-issue. Uh, so because of that, I was able to refactor these things. Instead of having you are in a dark DLA, show location, description, uh, show location, and show possible direction, now there is only one function called show location which knowing dark LA, blah, 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 display everything in one go. It's much more readable uh, and it makes it easy to find code. I also added this magic instruction, the paragraph symbol. So instead of doing GT equal 1013 to indicate that you want to go back to 1013 or that the line indicating what to do when pressing the L for look is 1010, you can just do um, LK equal paragraph, GT equal paragraph, and the compiler, bas to type, will automatically replace that by the line number of the current line. So the various location, so you can see much more compact. In average, I'm two lines instead of three, which is important in basic, as I was saying, because the less line you have, the faster the go to instruction goes. Uh, so, another thing you maybe have remembered is that uh, when the system is showing what are the items, yeah, it was, I can see an open safe, a plastic bag, black dust. It was appearing uh, line by line. And it kind of looked weird. So now I'm generating a variable. I add them to the variable using my tilde magic now mg if you look in the uh, auric manual at uh, the page 262 uh, that matches carriage return on uh, cursor down it's important because uh, the, each one should be displayed on one line and this does not work uh, so the label can also be used like that to indicate uh, the location but also for restore so it works with everything uh, on go to uh, works as well uh, 
this is a temporary thing for me. So now if I press the exclamation mark, it immediately stops so I can investigate the content of the variables and then start again. So it's easier than control C. And it does not erase uh, whatever is displayed on the screen. Uh, actions get. So you can see that with all these numbers, it's replaced by lines much easier. Uh, but uh, the real improvement is that. Uh, normally we had a custom drop for uh, many places, many items. So uh, Yeah, so we had three of drop yellow powder, drop black gas, drop gun powder, petrol evaporate. Uh, because it had to test for each of the container in which one the thing was. Uh, now we have only one thing which is drop container, which is called from the various places with a variable that indicate which container we are interested by, bucket, box, tin or bag. And then one single function does it all and mark the selected container to, to zero. That's uh, much easier to handle. Um, I think there were a few more stuff. Yeah, so I replaced all this thing by... Uh, it's much easier to understand if door on is in padlocked room than A equals 39 than 21. Um, same thing here. But yeah, so that's mostly it. Uh, well, yes, it also simplifies the get uh, because I'm using uh, this beautiful uh, Cedric uh, uh, instruction, ENSTR, search for the first occurrence of string two in the string A, starting from the character specified by the third parameter. Oops. So basically what that does is that instead of doing, are we trying to put the water in bucket? Do we have a bucket? Are we trying to put it in a bag? Do we have a bag? Uh, tin, you can just search in bucket, bag, or tin, and you get the result in the variable en. If en is null, it means it was not inside, else you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So basically, with that, you could almost do a switch case using string variables, uh, using en steer, followed by en, followed by on go to, which I think is quite kind of nifty. So basically, the get watcher becomes two instructions instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's exactly the same thing, run much faster, and I believe is easier. Uh, so of course we have the same thing with petrol, uh, for the dove, powder, dust. You can see all this removed code. Uh, I realized that the inventory system of the game was broken. Uh, there are these variables, uh, I see, let me find one. Yes, the game was doing everywhere IC equal IC minus one plus two, depending of what it was. So if you make the gunpowder, you use two items. So you lose two items for the inventory, but in many places it was incoherent and you got the prime of the game telling you, you have to drop something first while you only had three items in your inventory because uh, it just got an error when uh, keeping track of the, of the variable. So since I'm updating this inventory on screen, I decided that uh, we could totally use uh, my inventory display to actually update this variable. So that's much easier. And while I was at it, I realized that instead of doing my complicated uh, modulo something something to display uh, ploop, 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 uh, I could just have a second variable using variable equal 20 minus variable, it's going to be alternatively equal to 0, 20, 0, 20, 0, 20. Um, which makes the code faster and more compact as well. And these two new lines are there to display 
the additional element because I realized that when crafting some items, I was only deleting the last one, while I should have deleted the two last ones. Uh, and that's it for the code. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, demonstration that it still actually works. And there were no white flash. Now, why was it painted yellow? Probably not. Uh, so, I'm just going to stop here, actually. I can just show that I can just press question mark. And I'm going to show you what the source code looks like. So, start by paper 3 CLS. Mm -hmm. Yes, paper 3 CLS, go to initialization. Uh, maybe I could do that like that. Would that work? Yeah, not awesome. Ah, damn it. Okay. Uh, sorry, can't do that, which is just after. Yeah, so that's a series of error message. Uh, a, so you can see, for go to 175, etc. Location marketplace. Uh, you are in a decided marketplace. Blah, blah. Uh, LK equal 25. And we are on line 25, so this was correctly replaced. Uh, GT equal 27, 32, 28 instead of location dark tunnel, dark alley. So that's just what it looks like. Uh, it's uh, totally uh, normal source code. Uh, not sure if I can find an example. Yeah, so show location, let's see. So plot space two comma fifteen on here the space is gone. If space wb equal a space then space all the space are gone. So that's uh, the behavior of the optimize uh, function. So the new dark alley, the church. The cemetery. The new kitchen. Staircase. For that one, I'm thinking maybe it should be behind some curtains so it's not obvious. 
like it's kind of rooms that a psychopathic uh, people will probably uh, want to hide like Mr. Gray the box room the shower guest room I need to do something for this bathroom. It's just a bathtub. Uh, it's missing something. Uh, probably some uh, sink. Or maybe a shower. Try the bedroom. I'm going to kill the tug. Uh, stab. With my keys. Who? I think it's a bug. Lol. Or maybe it's in the game. I don't know. I've not actually tried. Uh, well. I guess uh, that's all uh, for, for today. Uh, that was a bit long. That was a 36 minute one. I guess I had many things to, to tell about. Uh, yeah, hopefully the next one will be, will be shorter. Uh, I'm going to try to, to finish the game uh, because it's getting a bit long. Uh, it's been about f four months now. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it's going somewhere and people will benefit from a better basic conversion. So if you have any ideas about what should be added to best to tape, if you don't like the syntax, uh, yeah, just, uh, just tell me. And uh, hopefully you will survive this uh, warm weather without melting. I really need air conditioning. Uh. Uh, and uh, yeah, bye bye.